Hi guys, Ken here, postcards from Cebu. So some uh, random thoughts on visiting the Philippines. Um, one, uh, one, the, the one that stood out to me is the thing known as crab mentality. <clears throat> and I don't know what it is with Filipinos. I mean, they're, they are the sweetest people. Um, I, I love them. Um, but they always want to pull each other down. Um, and you're going to experience this um, if you have a girlfriend or a chatmate that you're going to visit. Um, there's a thing called chismis, which is basically gossip. <coughs> and, the, uh, <laughs> and all the neighbors will be gossiping about your girlfriend because now she's uh, with a rich Westerner and she can afford the good things in life and all this kind of stuff. So it will bother her. Um, it may not, it may seem insignificant to you, does to me, but it will bother her. So that's something you want to be aware of. Um, if you've ever, you know, I live in Maryland, sandwiched in between Baltimore and Washington, D.C. The delicacy food here is the blue channel crab. And the blue channel crab is, I love them. I, I, I could eat the hell out of crabs. And but if you've ever seen a bushel basket of crabs, as one is trying to escape, the other ones grab a hold of them and pull them back down. So that's kind of the crab, what we're talking about with crab mentality, is Filipinos have a tendency to want to pull each other down, talk behind their back, all that kind of stuff. Um, and your girlfriend will feel it and she'll experience it. So be prepared for that. Um, a few other uh, random thoughts. Uh, one is OFWs. Um, OFW stands for Overseas Filipino Worker. Um, the Philippines don't have a whole lot of stuff. I, I know they export a lot of pineapple, but mainly they export labor. Um, so a lot of, you may meet a, a Filipina online and she's in Kuwait or Hong Kong or uh, Singapore or someplace else working um, either a lot, a lot of them are caregivers um, uh, for elderly people or maids, um, but even engineers. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, there's some in my family. Um, he's an engineer, works over, I think, in Saudi Arabia. And so they go overseas and they work and they send money back to the Philippines. So that's some of the lifeline uh, of money uh coming back in what they call remittances. And the remittances, um, and I do, as a matter of fact, I send money for my son to um, uh, go to co pay for his college uh, every month. And so the remittances add up a lot. So there's a lot of overseas Filipino workers, OFWs, and there's a lot of money that flows back into the Philippines to kind of keep things going. And it comes from the OFWs. And I'm, I'm very... Uh, very impressed and uh, uh, show much respect to OFWs. These people are working hard uh, to take care of their families in, who are still in the Philippines. Um, right now, I'm, I'm fixing to make a trip in June uh, next month. Uh, it cost me about 2000 bucks for the airfare round trip. Uh, so keep that in mind um, if you're budgeting and planning for a trip to the Philippines. It's going to cost you two grand in airfare and another grand or two um, just for hotels and food and traveling around and stuff like that. Um, you can do it a lot cheaper. Uh, there are some folks to get by on very little money, uh, but that's not my style. I, I, I like to enjoy myself and uh, I'm definitely going to go over to Shargao and do some fishing. Um, great time over there. The one thing that struck me when I first arrived in the Philippines um, was the, the prevalence of abject poverty. There's a lot of poverty, and you'll see it. On, I'm driving down in a taxi coming, going down the South Coastal Road from, um, from the airport to <coughs> Minglanilla. Um, you just see shanties after shanties after shanties. And... Folks will just pitch up whatever shelter they can in a spot. 
unfortunately, um, a lot of times there ends up being fires in these places and a whole lot of people are displaced and uh, unfortunately some are actually hurt. But that's the, you know, to them, it's no big deal. It's, it's just the way they are. Um, they're still great people. Just because they're poor doesn't mean that they're not good people. And so you're going to see that. You're going to experience that in the Philippines. Um, so prepare yourself for it. Um, yeah. Uh, I think the average salary is uh, of a Filipino laborer is about 300 pesos a day. That's six bucks. <laughs> That's, that ain't a lot of money. So anyhow... Um, just some random thoughts for you. Um, I hope you enjoy the Philippines. Um, I certainly do every time I go there. Of course, you know, now I have family there as well, and I have a, a grandson um, who I'm going to see for the first time uh, when I uh, arrive in June. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, please like, comment, share, subscribe, um, do all those things. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.